Today I want to talk about wisdom, real wisdom, wisdom that you do not get from human mind, wisdom that you get from spirit. In the Bible it says it's not the letter of the law but the spirit and that is talking about wisdom, a deep wisdom. It says in Proverbs 2 verse 6, only the Lord gives wisdom. God gives knowledge and understanding. Now, my friend, I've had a lot of people that I've known in my life that had a great deal of knowledge, but they didn't have understanding of the subject. And sometimes understanding of the subject is something you can't learn in school. You have to learn by a deep knowing, a, a deep sense of what it is all about, the whole picture. And sometimes they say that that comes with maturity, but I believe what really brings it to the human being is through that maturity, having more time with God. I have had many subjects that I thought that I knew a lot about, and then I'd be taking a walk in the wilderness or something, and all of a sudden, there would be like a touch of God where I would understand and have knowledge of the subject, where I would have an aha moment. Charles Stanley said the essence of wisdom from a practical standpoint is pausing long enough to look at our lives, invitations, opportunities, relationships, from God's perspective. What well, genuine wisdom is found in God. God's wisdom is unique because it renews not only the mind but also the heart. And when it renews the mind, you are able in that moment to think in a brand new way about a subject, in a way that you would never have been able to do through your entire lifetime, if not for the touch of God. And it renews the heart. Sometimes you have a wisdom about another person that you might have had a great deal of anger for. And all of a sudden, through this renewal of heart, you understand. You understand where they're coming from and why they acted the way they did at the time. Seek wisdom for real enlightenment, and also for transformation. Do you consult God's Word every day? Not just on Sunday mornings, but also by growing in a spiritual way, emotionally and intellectually, by going to God and asking God, God, here I am. I'm listening. Give me wisdom on this particular thing. And make sure that God's word is a bright spotlight in your day that guides you, that illumines your path, that guides your individual steps on that path. It's the best way to live by far. Today and tomorrow and for your whole life long.